What is up everybody and welcome back to Last Day on Earth Survival. So just want to say thank you so much everybody that has joined the channel recently. We have just hit 4,000 total subscribers. So a lot of people have asked if I will do a Q&A type thing. So if anyone has any questions leave them in the comments section below and I'll answer them in a separate video I suppose. But more importantly we need to head out on a nice raid. Well, hopefully it's a nice raid. I always do this intro and then end up going out and just getting a really bad raid that's not worth posting. So I've actually recorded this, I think, three times now for three different revenge raids. And they've all been a little bit on the underwhelming side. However, I'm sure that won't happen now and we can go out and raid someone. All right, let's see what the raiders want me to do as well. Kill the blind one, he's already dead. Fourth floor of Bunker Alpha, not doing that on hard mode. And then I got these. So yeah, gonna have to wait until the bunker resets before I can do any quests. Which sucks a bit, not gonna lie. Because I like being able to do revenge ra do, um, raiders raids every day. But it's given me tasks that I can't do. So I'll be streaming tomorrow. Well, actually, technically I'll be streaming today for when this video is out. And you know, we'll split that. Take enough to fill up half the tank. So yeah, when this video is out, I'll be streaming a couple hours from this time of release. Let's go see if we can get a decent base. Not just an open plan thing. I want some stone walls. So yeah, I got the raid. It showed up about six hours ago, but I've had a busy day. I had stuff to do. And it's currently just gone midnight. Hey, I just finished recording a Fortnite session with Baboon King. So that should be out uh, in the next couple of days. So that was really fun. We're both awful at the game. Oh, come on, give me stone walls. Come on, give me stone walls. That annoying noise is my rabbit ripping apart a box. Okay. I'm pretty sure... We actually raided this base the other day. Is this a twig wall here? No, this isn't. I think I raided this the other day. Oh, I should have dropped off C4. Okay, so this is... Bunny, stop eating the... Oh. No, don't hit that. You want to break this. There we go. We've got a normal twig wall here. And what's this section looking like? Empty just with your chopper that's got five engine parts in it. Okay, so this base isn't looking like it'll be that promising. But we'll be able to open most of the chests at least. No, don't hit the wall. Just look in the box. Uh, absolutely nothing good or worth taking. You know what? I could take some soup. And I'm going to eat all your berries. Nom, 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 Right, so these two are here. Bunny, I'm going to take that box away from you. Where are all the fast biters? Has this base actually glitched them? A uh, couple of bits of swap. No, break the chest. Hey, got a shotgun, got an AK, got red tickets. And I'll take no kits. Right, are they going to go round now? No, I think they are actually glitched. Hey, another shotgun. Hmm. Yeah, I think we might actually have a glitched raid here. Two steel plates. I'll take that. And instead of 20 soup. Right, are they going to start moving now? No. See now, my issue is, I want to drop stuff off at the base. Okay, you know what, let's go to this window. There we go, I can shoot him through the window. There we go. Perfect. Can we hit the bloaters? There we go. Right, and we got the zombies and the... 
Bottom corner as well. Kind of doing nothing, just sitting there. Do they move when I move? No. Do you think they'll make their... Oh, hello. Okay, now they're smartening up a bit. And we got... Oh dear, we have got a lot of them coming in. But they're stuck again. Okay, well, we've got a bit of a completely glitched raid here. What is going on? Right, I'm going to watch the health on the clock. And I'll switch over to the nice M16. Just gun all these down really quickly. And they stop again. I'm really hoping this works for the big one too. Right, let's go stash some stuff in our chopper. Just in case the big one does somehow manage to get us. It looks like we've got a nice glitch trade here. Alright, so let's drop off the C4, the steel, and the red tickets. Right, now, let's see if I can find where that petrol was. So that's going to be the last thing that we break. Where was the petrol? There we go. Let's see, yeah, this is going to be just about enough to completely fill up the chopper. And have a nice bit left over. Right, so I wonder why we were given this low-level base to raid. It does seem like they've completely just killed revenge raids. They were a lot better before. Right, so we've opened all of these. Is there anything good left in them? Uh, I'm not taking one aluminium plate. Don't really want any of that. Mm. No. I could do with... Not really any of that either. What are you getting from it? You know what? I'll take them. So we've probably got... Yeah, we've got two chests left to break. This damn rabbit is so annoying. I guess I can take all of these. Um, th yeah, this is a really underwhelming yet nicely glitched raid. So where were those aluminium bars that we saw earlier? Oh, take the bricks. Aluminium bars, there we go, we're up to nine. Hmm. See now, what the hell is that rabbit doing? You know what? Let's just find out what's in here. It's not going to summon the big one. But, hey! Definitely worth it. Got another steel plate. Um, steel bar. Um, right. First up, let's go and drop off the petrol. Throw this away. There we go. Let's put that up to a nice stack of 20 in there. Right. So, this, yeah, this is a really weird raid. Um, I'm going to take this instead of take that instead of the three of them full health hatchet instead of an almost broken one and the five oak instead of 20 soup I think that's about everything good the wrenches would be nice but I haven't really got room for wrenches let's see if they've got anything in their workbench it's going to summon the big one so nope not summoning the big one either. Okay, let's see what you got in here. Alright, and he is coming right to us, so the big one didn't get glitched. Well, obviously he wouldn't. Bunny, stop it, I'm trying to talk. Obviously he wouldn't get glitched because we were standing on top of the chest. We broke the chest, not standing on top of the chest. So I was looking at my rabbit who was standing on top of the box. And currently throwing a tantrum. You can come out in the morning, alright? We come out again tomorrow. And the base is gone. So that was a pretty decent revenge raid. I'm more than happy with that. Got some guns, got a nice amount of steel. Oh, well, got three steel. She's actually eating the cardboard box. What have we gotten? That's pretty damn good in my opinion. Got almost a full set of SWAT. Hey doggy. Oh, there's something that I haven't shown all of you. For those that don't watch my streams, which you totally should, because they are rather fun and a nice way to interact with the community. We got a white doggy. No, we didn't buy this dog. We got the dog through breeding. And it's level two female that's careful. Have we got a level two male? Okay, so... Could 
breed. Give me a second. Let's bring you back inside. Okay. We could breed Abby with Simba. If I do this, will I get a white baby? Let's find out. Hang on, have I got the trait active to be more likely to get a better baby? Um, what are your traits? Increase chance of getting a higher rank when crossbreeding. You come out. Right, Abby and Simba. We can select the color, white. Enter your name and you can be called uh, Abby 2.0. Okay. Center dog crate. Right, Abby 2.0 is another female. So if she comes out as a level three, we're gonna have three level three female dogs, two level two females, and one level one male. That's a bit on the ridiculous side. Uh, find a bear animal. Decrease food needed in the dog crate. I'll take that over XP gain. There we go. So you make puppies grow faster. You make puppies grow faster and rare animals. Okay, so we're more likely to find turkey to turkey keys. Right then. I Oh yeah, so you know my amazing horde proof faith. Oh look what I discovered. Someone amazing in the comment section told me how to do it. Look, I can zoom out. So this is my base. And the horde teleport through my stone walls. A couple of walls got broken there. Sounded like someone getting attacked. That's weird. So yeah, a couple of walls actually got broken by raiders, but before that happened, I actually had the horde teleport through the walls straight into my base and broke a load of them. Because if you remember, all of these were level two. So I think I'm not gonna bother upgrading any walls to level two until I've got the stuff to make them into oak walls. Because it's just not worth it. But look at this beast of a base. Put it in furniture mode. That is pretty nice. What I am really tempted to do is move my gunsmith bench over to another pedestal here. So what I might do is make another 2x2 two two right here to put the gunsmith on. Because I think it would look nice having them lined up along the edge like that. And move this room and just put four safes in here. How many have we got? One, two, three, four. Yeah, we've got four safes now. Because I got a couple when raiding. I'm not sure if I recorded that raid or not. Yeah, we've got a nice line of spikes there. Load of spikes here. I moved my crops to inside here. Just because I thought it would look a little bit better. And meant I could make it a bit stronger there where it kept breaking into. But now I need to repair these as well, which is annoying. But I could take those two from there, I guess. Right. I'm going to end off this episode here. Sorry, it's a bit of a shorter one. Only like, yeah, 13 minutes. But it's got midnight and I'm sleepy. So remember to leave any questions for the 4K sub Q&A thing in the description below. Bye.